Well, you know how we see all the top pros on TV hit these fantastic bunker shots, and they prefer to be in the bunker than they would do in the fairway or the rough sometimes, because they can control the ball that much more. Today, I would like to share with you two tips from the great Seve Ballesteros. I was fortunate enough to go to a short game clinic with him, God, 2002, so a long time ago now, 18 years ago now, it makes me feel pretty old. Um, and it was amazing. We got, I got to watch Servi up close and personal with a small group of people where he was doing all sorts of short game stuff. But there's two things he did in the bunker which I think are going to help you. They certainly helped me and they certainly helped the students that I would coach to become better bunker players and control the ball better. So there's two drills which I'd like to share with you in a minute that are from Servi, from his very mouth, that are going to make a difference to your bunker play. Keep watching to learn how. So the two drills are a little bit maverick, or at least one of them's a bit maverick, and the other one makes a lot of sense. First drill was basically when Sevi hit bunker shots, he used to try and put the butt of the club into his pocket in the fall through. And if you think of what that's doing, it makes the club head overtake the hands and steepens the shaft here in the fall through. So it gives you that overtaking look, that resetting look, and basically makes you use the bounce of the club correctly through the ball, and it makes you add loft. It also makes you add speed to the club head. Now, most amateur golfers, when they play poor bunker shots, don't have enough speed in the club head through the ball, which means the ball comes out low and running. We want the ball to come out high and soft. So trying to feel that we put the club head in our pocket is encouraging those things to happen. Let's go ahead and do one. So wide stance, weight in the forward, weight in the front foot, put the club head in my pocket. So I wasn't really working on distance control there, but the ball came out really nicely. It had spin on it. It was a great line to the shot, just went a little bit too far. So I'd have to reduce the length of the swing but have the same feel to make that ball go shorter or take a little bit more sand. But to be honest, I was really happy with the amount of sand I took. The spin on the ball was beautiful. Really enjoyed the strike and feel of that shot. And it was nice and easy to do. Something you can do yourself. The second tip is a bit more maverick. This one Sevi did and he hit a great shot doing it and I've done it myself and with mixed results I've hit some great shots doing it and I've hit a couple of real nasty ones too. But he basically talked about the average golfers having too much tension in the hands when they play bunker shots. And if you think about what we've just done it relates to that. So if there's too much tension you can't get speed into that club head. So he talked about throwing the club. So literally what I'm going to do now is throw the club as I hit the ball. Okay, so when I go and hit this ball now, I'm going to throw my club and it should bury itself in that lip. It might go on the green, but it does apologies to the green keepers. But I'm going to try and throw the club to show that I've got basically the hands getting so soft. And so again, encouraging that overtaking action through the ball, that release of the hands through the ball. Everything else set wise stays the same. We're having the driver stance, we're having the wide stance, we're having the weight forward, club face square or slightly open would work for this. But I'm going to throw the club into that bank. A little bit heavy that one, but you'll see there's still a successful shot. Again, that would be more into the stinker end of the range for that, but still successful with the shot. I'll probably have another go at it now and film that for you and see how we do with that. But it definitely felt like the tension was nowhere near the hands. So again, it gave me that overtaking look that I would want to see through the ball. Not bad for take two. So, as I said, a little bit more maverick, but great drills to do to encourage you to become a better bunker player. Have a go with them. Chat down below. Let me know if you've got on. Let me know what difference they made to your game, how they made you feel. Certainly a lot lighter with those wrists for sure. But they're good fun to do. Go out there and have fun. It'll make your practice more enjoyable also. If you've enjoyed the video and you've learned from Sevi like I have, please click like and share the video. Also, please post any questions or comments down below. Request for videos. They're great to hear. From you. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you again here very soon and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. See you again.